Yes, we should have. Uh, we're recording. Yeah. Are we recording? Yeah, we, we are, are recording. We are recording, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah. What's going on, people? Today on Fix It Rick, we are going to be changing out a 2009 Toyota Corolla CD player. Let's fix it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off these side panels, open up your glove compartment box, insert the screwdriver down below, and twist. Then remove the side panel all the way up, and it pops out just like that. Wedge your screwdriver into the bottom, and then pop it out. You should be able to simply pull the rest of it right out, no problem. So the next thing you want to do is grab both sides of the vents and pull straight towards you and they pop just like that. Go ahead and put that on your dashboard. So you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket with an extension. If you don't have one, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and buy it. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the screws righty tighty lefty loosey. Now that we've got all our screws out, let's go ahead and remove the antenna cable. So these connectors have a little tab right here. You, you want to press it and then pull it out. Now that we've got the radio out, let's go ahead and remove this anti-theft frame and put it on the new one. Take a Phillips head screwdriver, press into them, and then twist. If you come across a strip screw, go ahead and use a 5 16 socket and it'll take it right out of there. We'll set that to the side and get to the other side. You'll notice the anti-theft brackets have an L and an R on them for the left and the right side of your radio. All right, let's go ahead and put the other one in. Looking at the front of your radio, you wanna take the right bracket and you want to go on the right side of the radio. All right, we got the right bracket on. Let's go ahead and rotate it and put the left side on. You'll notice how you got a whole bunch of holes and a whole bunch of holes here. The best way to know is if you keep moving it around, it'll fit right in place. All right, let's go ahead and start plugging this back in. Again, each of them are slotted to a certain size, so they just click right into place. And it's a beautiful thing. It's just a beautiful thing. Go ahead and put your radio connection right there. All right, let's go ahead and slide it back on in. And you should hear a click when you push it back in. Feels nice and solid. Let's go ahead and put the anti-theft screws back in place. Now that we have our anti-theft screws put back in, let's go ahead and put the vent right back in its spot. They should slide back and click right into place. Go ahead and line up the slots on the side until you hear the click. Go ahead and put the other one on. All right, all right let's go ahead and turn on the windshield wipers. All right, let's go ahead and test this out. Put the power on. Yeah, it's like rainy. Put the CD player in. Alright, so that's how you fix 2009 Toyota Corolla radio. If you like more content like this, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment below. 
My name is Rick Burrows and you're watching Fix It Rick. We'll see you on the next video.